It is probably our favorite day, but other than that, it's got to be Thursday here because Imagination Station is in with another fun and exciting science experiment. We have Sarah Neff and eventually in a minute or two, Anna is Anna Colin is going to join us this morning as well. She's going to be our assistant, but Sarah, yes. you're going to get us started. Yes. What do we have to do this morning? Well, like you said, there's some sunshine, so I thought, how about we do some bubbles? Okay. Hold on to what little bit of nice weather there is left. My daughter, Julia, 18 months old, loves bubbles. Fantastic. So in this beaker, we've got regular soap bubble solution. So if we blow some bubbles out of here, go ahead and there you go. We see that uh, they have a nice shape, right? And But they keep falling towards the ground, right? They do. That's because the bubble membrane is just slightly heavier than the air. The so air that we're blowing inside of it. Right. So it's pulling that bubble down. So they're hitting the counter and popping. Okay. So I thought it'd be cool if we could make bubbles that float up instead of sink down. Okay, so we're talking about different buoyancy with air at this right. point. Right, so we're gonna change the density of the air inside our bubble. All right. So to do that, I'm actually gonna give you the spilloon. Okay. All right. Now on the end of it, I've got a funnel, and I'm gonna close this off, and then go ahead and open the valve on your end. Okay. And this balloon is actually filled with helium gas, which we put in birthday balloons, right? Mm -hmm. So we know that that will make it float. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna dip my funnel down in here and I'm gonna create a soap film. And now as I open this up, Ooh. we fill up our bubble with some helium gas and they float all the way up to the ceiling of the studio until they pop, right? Until they, they pop. Hit the ceiling. So but up they go and it's up they go. pretty quick. It is. And I thought, you know, this is pretty cool, but you know, Imagination Station, we always like to do things a little bit more right? And a little bigger. A little bigger, right. So I thought, what if we could make bubbles that not only float up, but are also flammable? Now have we're you, talking. Have you ever had flammable bubbles, Chris? Uh, yes, in my hand before. <laughs> so I know how it turns ones. out. All right, so if you want to go ahead and okay. turn off the valve on your balloon. Okay. I'm actually gonna bring you up here to the front of the table, okay. and we're gonna bring Anna in with us now. Now she has a jumbo balloon, as you can see, and that is filled with hydrogen gas. All right. Which, just like helium, is lighter than air. So what Anna's gonna do is she's gonna get hers ready, and she is going to start blowing some bubbles. Now, I've got this ignition stick. Just in case we need it, right? Right, because we can't have flammable bubbles without a flame. So what we're gonna do is Anna's gonna blow those bubbles, with the hydrogen gas, which like I said, like the helium, is gonna be lighter than air, okay. so they're gonna float up towards the ceiling. But the difference is that hydrogen gas is combustible, okay. which means when we hit it with a flame, it's gonna cause an explosion. Very cool. So, right. So let's, Anna's gonna get another one. Oh, do you wanna give it a try? I'll give it a try. So. Contained within that bubble is the hydrogen gas. The bubble acts right. basically as that membrane and keeps it. It does. And if get... you notice, there ah. you go. That one made kind of a Roasted whoosh. that one. <laughs> that was sweet. Now, our bubbles do make two different sounds. We have the whoosh, which is when you hit the bubble directly with that candle, okay. and it ignites the hydrogen flame. Ah. Oh, that's a whoosh. <laughs> Okay. Very light. I heard the whoosh. Now, there's another type that makes a little bigger of a sound. We call those boomers. Okay. That happens when maybe you hit the bubble slightly with the um, ignition stick, and then it ignites the gas. So what do I have to do to get a boomer? So what you're going to do to get a boomer is once Anna releases that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> we could do this all day. The hydrogen's <laughs> acting up right now. So if you hit the balloon just slightly okay. with the candle before the flame, there you go, that one's like a little louder, one. right? Okay. It pops the bubble and releases the hydrogen gas and then the oxygen in the room mixes with it and it creates that nice big boom sound. Okay. So these are not your average oh, bubbles. Oh, there you go. That one almost got away. Right, and it's pretty cool that we can make flammable bubbles Another because one? bubbles are one more, Anna, and wet then... and we're making fire with them. Yep. Okay, it's hard to get your hydrogen bubbles it. to stay. It is. Ha! <laughs> All right. Very cool. Sarah, yeah. we appreciate your time and coming in and sharing another fun, uh, exciting science experiment. Anna, before we kind of wrap up with this, you guys are always Good talking job. science here. Give us an update on what the status is with the ongoing levy. Well, uh, when we closed up the day on Tuesday on elections, we were down by 1,075 votes. 
Um, what we found out yesterday was that there are still approximately 9,000 to 10,000 provisional ballots that are still out there, so we're still in this. What does this mean for you guys? It means that right now we're in a holding pattern for probably the next two to three weeks uh, to see what happens and once those ballots get counted. For us as a whole, even if it, goes, if it eventually goes down, we remain the same as we have been for the last year. Our funding, our current funding is, is current through 2013, okay. so nothing will change at this point. This was just something you guys are doing to kind of look forward to the future and exactly. kind of secure the future of the Imagination yep, we Station. We went ahead one year in order right. to be able to prepare. All right, Anna, we appreciate that. You guys you. always come in with some fun and exciting experiments. So uh, good luck to you guys as Thank you guys uh, look forward to that.